Satellites have been a constant presence in our lives for over 60 years, but where did it all begin? Let's take a journey through the history of these celestial wonders, from the Cold War to the connected world we know today. But before we blast off, let's set the stage with a little bit of trivia. Did you know that the word satellite comes from the Latin word satels, meaning attendant or guardian? So, in a way, satellites have been serving as our guardians in space for decades. So strap on your space helmets, and let's take a trip through time to discover how these guardians came to be. On October 4, 1957, the world was shocked and the Soviet Union successfully launched Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite to orbit the Earth. This little beeping ball, only about the size of a beach ball and weighing just over 183 pounds, marked the beginning of the space age and the start of the Cold War space race. But let's not forget, the Soviet Union's success was not only a triumph in space technology, but also a major propaganda victory. As the satellite orbited overhead, the beeps could be heard on radios all around the world, broadcasting the Soviet Union's technological capabilities to the world. It's safe to say, Sputnik 1 sent shockwaves not only through the scientific community, but also through the political landscape. And, much like the satellite itself, the ramifications of this launch would continue to orbit for decades to come. In response to the Soviet Union's launch of Sputnik 1, the United States ramped up its own efforts in space exploration, leading to the beginning of the space race. The United States launched its first satellite, Explorer 1, on January 31, 1958. While it may not have been as flashy as Sputnik 1, Explorer 1 discovered the Van Allen radiation belt and marked the beginning of American space exploration. The space race was not just a competition between two countries, but also a battle between two ideologies. The US and the Soviet Union were locked in a battle to prove the superiority of their respective systems, and space was the new frontier for this competition. It was a race to see who could launch the most and the biggest satellites, a race to see who could put a man on the moon first, and a race to see who could claim the ultimate prize, victory in the Cold War. It was a time of rapid innovation, scientific discovery, and political tension, all propelled by the drive to outdo one another in space. And let's not forget, the space race had some unexpected winners too, like Tang and astronaut Ice Cream. But that's a different story for a different day. Satellites quickly became more than just a tool for scientific research and Cold War bragging rights. In 1962, the launch of Telstar 1 marked the dawn of the communications satellite era. This satellite was able to transmit television signals across the Atlantic, connecting the US and Europe in a way that had never been done before. Suddenly, the world was more connected than ever before. Satellites enabled long-distance telephone calls, live television broadcasts, and even live sports events to be beamed around the globe. This was a game-changer for industries like television and telecommunications, and it's safe to say, Telstar 1 was the first of many satellites that would go on to revolutionize the way we communicate. With the launch of Telstar 1, the world was brought closer together, and it was no longer just a small step for a satellite but a giant leap for mankind. It's a good thing too, because can you imagine trying to watch the Super Bowl live from Europe before Telstar? That would have been a real long shot. Since the launch of Sputnik 1 and Telstar 1, satellites have come a long way in terms of technology and capabilities. Advancements in satellite technology have led to the development of satellites that can do everything from providing GPS navigation to monitoring weather patterns to capturing high-resolution images of the Earth's surface. Satellites have also become integral in fields such as military operations, disaster management, and even agriculture. In recent years, the use of small, low-cost satellites, called CubeSats, has increased dramatically. These tiny satellites are relatively cheap to build and launch, opening up new possibilities for research and commercial applications. The future of satellite technology looks bright with ongoing developments such as the use of reusable launch vehicles, larger constellations, and the use of artificial intelligence to enhance the capabilities of satellites. Satellites have come a long way from being a Cold War propaganda tool to being an essential part of our daily lives, and we can expect them to continue to shape the future in ways we can't even imagine yet. It's clear that the history of satellites is one of constant evolution, and we're excited to see what's next for these celestial wonders.
From Sputnik 1 to the CubeSats, we've taken a journey through the history of satellites and their role in shaping our world. As we conclude our journey, we hope you've enjoyed learning about the history of satellites as much as we've enjoyed sharing it with you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informative content. And remember, satellites have been our guardians in space for decades, and they will continue to be the eyes and ears of our planet in the future. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep looking up.